Hello, and it's great to be talking to you from the foot of Beeston Hill. This is the scene here at Elland Road. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Leeds United versus Southampton. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. at the Leeds United starting 11. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And here's how the lineup looks for Southampton. James Ward-Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And the match begins. Won it back. Mateusz Klich. Bamford. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. Excellent passing. Not the best challenge, free kick. Well, you have to conclude, Stuart, an opportunity wasted. Yeah, and the other players are furious with him, and rightly so. That's such a poor free kick. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And the cross into the middle. Well, the danger is still there. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And it's gone out of play under real duress. And that's great work to keep it in play. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. We wondered who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Romeu. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, it fizzled out. But attacking possibilities. Bamford. And it might be. Well, fantastic reflex action. And borderline offside, but correct.
Walker Peters. Well, on you go, says the, the tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Dallas. Junior Firpo. An effective challenge. And they know they need to stop him. Couldn't keep it. El Yunusi. Stuart Dallas Junior Firpo It's with Diego Llorente Jay Adams He made it look simple really Rodrigo Rodrigo and we will have just one additional minute and good pressure high up the pitch that is that for the first half here well he's got a few things right in this first half but not everything well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Rodrigo Dallas committed challenge promising attack this but quick thinking defensively Harrison Rodrigo, and he's won the ball. Beautiful pass. Lost possession. Ailing. They look as though they want to make this move count. Oh, what an opportunity. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. has restarted 1-0 here and into the last 30 minutes now Rafinha and slipped through beautifully really important piece of last ditch defending routine really
Moving into the advanced position. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. Junior Firpo. Dallas. Well, the stats confirm it. Leeds have had the lion's share of possession, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Junior Firpo. Good bit of pressing. El Yunusi. And crossed in the direction of the back post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was all was going to be claimed. Ten minutes left for play. Bednarek. Ward Kraus. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, that might have sealed it for them. Well, he has to make the keeper work there. That's a bad miss. And they will make the change now. Coming off the pitch, number 43, Matthias Cliff. To be replaced by number four, Adam Forshaw. Substitution for Southampton. Coming off the pitch, number 24, Mohamed Elianusi. Coming onto the pitch. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Ailing. Dallas here. Patrick Bamford. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, he can consider himself admonished even in the absence of a yellow card. So making the substitution now. an effective clearance for shot Jack Harrison has it will he find the net well he missed the targets and then some wide it went And that is going to be all for this game. Well, far from ideal from a Leeds United perspective. Where did it go wrong? Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.